It says here Shane wants to calculate the average rate of change of the exponential function y equals 1 times 2 to the power of x over the interval 2 to 4. What is the difference between y values over this interval? All right. Well, since we're trying to find the difference between the y values, you actually need to plug in your inputs on the interval. So these will be your x's. We're going to plug those numbers into this function here and find out how much the change is, basically, or what the difference is between the two y values that come out of that. Let's go ahead and plug in the 2 first. So that's the lower bound. I'm going to plug that into the equation here. y equals 1 times 2 to the power of x. Remember, I'm plugging in 2. Let's go ahead and calculate that y equals 1 times 2 to the power of 2. Well, 2 squared, you might know, is just 4. So this becomes y equals 4. So that's our lower bound. Now the next interval here is with 4. That's the upper bound of the interval. I'm going to plug that same number into the same equation. So I have y equals 1 times 2 to the power of 4 this time. And remember, with exponents, that just means I'm multiplying the base four times. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. You might know that 2 times 2, you can kind of regroup these a little bit with the associative property. 2 times 2 is just 4. So y equals 1 times 4 times 4, which is just y equals 16. All right. So you have done a lot of work so far. You've already found the two outputs, or the y values. But now we want to know the difference. So that's the key here. What is the difference between the y values? They just want to know from 4 to 16, how much is it changing? And so you just need to do a little subtraction. 16 minus 4, and the answer here is just 12. So the difference between the y values over this interval is 12.